Hi guys, welcome to my channel and thank you for stopping by. I want to welcome you to my kind of messy workbench. As you can see, um, I'm uh, I'm building right now, so it looks it looks like a mess. But uh, you know you know how it is. Never mind. I just want uh, to make this little uh, midweek workbench update to let you know what's going on. Um, to let you know that I didn't uh, quit building or anything like that. Um, I have been extremely busy for the last three, four weeks. So I haven't been able to build very much and I haven't been able to to uh, put out so many videos as I wanted to. So, um, but um, yeah, very, very busy. And now it looks like it's, it's getting better. So um, I just wanted to, to make this little update video. To begin, I want to show you a couple of shop cards I got. Um, this one is from Daniel over at Go For It Painting. Uh, a very, uh, very, very nice uh, Volkswagen on the on the on the shop card here, with some incredible rust work. I can hardly say that rust work. Um, it looks really, really, really good. Um, if you don't know his channel, uh, Daniel's channel, go for it painting. Go over there and check it out. Uh, there's um, some uh, figure painting videos, but there's also some car videos, and also uh, how to uh, to make rust and like that. So um, very nice channel. As usual, the link will be in the description underneath this video. And the other shop card is from Thomas over at Plastic Buzzard model shop um a very nice channel with some very nice videos uh with some very uh, some might say weird i will say cool stuff he have some special uh, special videos some special models over there um i really like that channel and i will recommend if you don't know it that you check it out uh, as for this channel also um the link is of course in the description underneath this video so uh, thank you for the for the shop card. Thank you for the nice words words on the back, Thomas. And um, go and check out his channel. Now let's see how it looks with my models I'm working on right now. Well, my desk looks like a mess. But I'm sorry for that. But anyway, here are the GTX and. Um, it doesn't look like there's a lot of um, of development in the model, progress in the model, but um, I actually had to remove the the rear suspension again because uh, when the glue dried up, it it um, it was not straight. Um, it pulled it um, it pulled it you know from the side, so so um, so I had to to take it off again, and and I really. Uh, I really had my battle with the rear suspension, but anyway, finally now it's there, and um, this is the stance that I'm looking for, and um, I think this one will be perfect for my street freak. So there's actually um, not so much progress, but uh, actually a lot of work anyway. Uh, you can just not see it um, this time, but... Um, it's getting ready now for um for painting on the on the on the bottom of the car uh, the bottom plate of the car um i just wait for the weather to to behave because we had a lot of rain and uh, and today it's been yeah almost storming uh, very very windy so and and maybe you know that i have to paint there on my balcony so so now I'm just waiting for for the the weather to behave so I can uh, I can come outside and play and, and and paint. Um I am waiting for the um <clears throat> the engine. I had to remove some old collar uh, as you can see here, uh, but um it should be coming along so uh, so this is uh, this is how my GTX looks right now. Uh, next time there will be some more progress uh, and uh, some some more visible progress so um, that's how it is right now
And here are my little yellow that uh, have to be finished um, before New Year's Eve. Um, as you can see, I, I put the body together and uh, that was actually quite a challenge. Um, as you might see, it, it, it doesn't fit very well. Um, but it's together now at least. Um, but I have to, uh, you can see here, it's 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 not very very good, so I have to uh, to do some more work to it. Um, it it has really been a challenge uh, to get this one um, put together, but yeah, it is what it is, and uh, I have to see if I can get it to fit proper. I have to to narrow the bottom plate here a little bit, the interior plate here, because it's. It's a little too wide, so it's actually opening the body up a little bit. Um, yeah, but there's a lot of work in this one, I can see. Um, so, uh, but at, at least it's coming along, and um, and now I can start the adjustment to the body, so I can get some paint to it. Hopefully, before too long, we have to see. But um, that is how the the little yellow looks right now. Still a lot of work to be done. And now I have a bit of a challenge because I'm going to show you a model kit that is very big. The box is very big, so I hardly have space for it here on my desk. But um, this one, Scania T142, the Roadrunner, the Australian uh, issue. A friend of mine, you've seen him before, Thomas, he was the one that that uh, I had the body build of the year 71 Plymouth. Um, him and I agreed to make a kind of body build. Uh, not, not, a, not a competition or anything like that. We just want to build the same sub subject uh, during next year. And... Um, the only uh, rule is build a truck in the year of 2023. So there's plenty of time. There's no no rules, no limits, uh, nothing. But uh, I think that I will choose to build one of... I have a couple of this uh, kit. I think I want to build one of them. Uh, one thing about this one, uh, and maybe a lot of you don't know that, but this one can actually be built exactly like this one, the old issue. Um, this one have exactly the same parts, of course not the decals, but uh, but the parts. Um, here you can see the the Australian tanks and like that um, and I don't want to do an unboxing but uh, I just wanted to show you very quick if I can to let you see it's not so easy there's not so much space here but you can see at least here you can see that we have the um, the old stock stock wheels instead of the uh, of the Australian kind of wheels, you have, uh, as I mentioned, you have uh, all the uh, the parts needed to build the exact same truck as the uh, old brown one. So um, I will not. Oh, excuse me! I almost knocked it over here. Uh, I will not build the um, Australian uh, uh, truck, but I will build the European one. Um, here you can see you have the stock stock bomber also so uh, this one will will come or start sometime i don't know yet january february something like that there's a lot of, of time it's just have it had just have to be finished in in 2023 so there's plenty of time and um and i have some some other kits first um i have the um yeah, my usual problem. I can never, I can never remember the name. The shock wagon I got from from Moral. I have to build that one when I finish with my two uh, 
my two deadline kits, the GTX that have to be finished on December 15 and my little yellow that have to be finished before New Year's Eve. When I finish those two, I have the uh, um, that kit from, from Morrow um, uh, that I have to build and I have the Bronco that I got from Michael Coombs, uh, one of the many kits and, and parts I got from him that uh, when I think about it, it still blows me away. Uh, I never received anything like that before. I'm so grateful for that. But um, that Bronco, I also want to get started. Um, and and when I finish one of those, or maybe both, I will start this scan here. But there's plenty of time, and it doesn't have to be finished until December 2023. And as I mentioned, it's not a it's not a build off. It's not a competition. It's just kind of a body build. Um, so, uh, and it just has to be finished um, December next year. So, um, I will build this one the European style, and um, I will see if I will build a trailer for it. Uh, I'm not sure um, if I will want to build a trailer for this one right away, or if I want to start one of the other Scania T142 I have. I have a couple of the records also, and maybe I will build one of those also but I don't know it's just a thought there's plenty of time more than a year so no problems but uh, guys that was uh, what I had to show you on this little midweek bench update and um, left is only to say please go and check my spring store um, I have some uh, rather nice uh, t-shirts and sweatshirts and hoodies and what have you some uh, coffee mugs and uh, and stuff. Uh, please go and check, see if there's anything you like. Um, please uh, subscribe to my channel if you didn't do it already. And I like to thank all my subscribers, both the old ones and the new ones. Um, please like, subscribe, uh, please uh, comment. Uh, you know the drill. So um, beside that, guys, take care, and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.